In a democracy, it is the government's job to defend people's right to speak freely. Yet, this Liberal government is doing the exact opposite with Bill C-10. They edited their very own bill to remove the protections that were once in place for the content that Canadians post online. Bizarrely, they are justifying this alarming move by saying that it is to protect art, music, and culture. If the Prime Minister is so obsessed with protecting culture, could he perhaps start by protecting Canada's long-standing commitment to free speech. Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, let me be absolutely clear. Bill C-10 is not about restricting content or freedom of speech, but about making Canadian music more discoverable and more available to the general public. Freedom of speech is explicitly protected under this Act and in our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. It is not negotiable by this government, and we will continue to abide by it, protect it, and uphold it. The Conservatives are yet again deliberately misleading Canadians and obstructing the study of this important bill by siding with web giants against Canadian creators. Here, The Honourable Member for Lethbridge. Interesting. The Prime Minister, on the one hand, says, it's clear, folks, it's clear, you're protected. But then he says, we're going to bring amendments in because further protection is needed. The Liberals keep saying that artists need this bill rushed through. Therefore, Conservatives should stop asking questions. Not a chance. They weren't, if they weren't aware, freedom of speech and expression actually mattered to Canadians, especially to artists. So while the Liberals continue to justify their power grab, Conservatives will continue to stand up for all Canadians. Would the Prime Minister perhaps like to come on board? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, once again, bill, this bill is not about what Canadians do online. It's about what web giants don't do, which is to support Canadian-made stories, music, and creators. That is why we made sure this bill covers professional, profitable content while explicitly exempting regular users from contribution requirements. We have and we will continue to improve this bill so it truly reflect, reflects its initial objective, which is to serve Canadian creators without hindering freedom of expression in this country. Honourable Member for Lethbridge. He's so unfamiliar with the content of the bill that he has to read talking points. Yesterday, I was on a talk radio panel. The parliamentary secretary said to, to the, uh, the parliamentary secretary to the minister of heritage said it is crystal clear that Bill C-10 does not target individuals. A few minutes later, however, she said that the minister is going to bring forward amendments to make sure it is crystal clear. You can't have it both ways. The bill can't already be crystal clear and still need amendments. So which is it? Is the bill already perfect? Or does it infringe on Canadians' charter rights and therefore need to be amended? Honourable Prime Minister. You know the Conservatives are casting about, right. desperate to make right. attacks on uh, an issue uh, that matters to all Canadians, uh, which is freedom of expression, uh, when they find, oh, the fact that we're willing to listen to amendments and move forward to make improvements exactly. as proof that it's a terrible piece of legislation. Exactly. The reality is we are focused on supporting content creators, we are focused on protecting freedom of expression, and we are happy to work with all parties to ensure that Canadians understand that that's exactly Exactly what this bill will do. 